to Bill by the Peter Pan casting crew. I just want to say thank you so much for the opportunity and the paycheck. Oh, wait, I'm not getting paid. <laughs> so, Bill, you remember when we had that black paint fight and I said it wasn't over? Well, take that! Ha! <laughs> the epic battle continues. <laughs> What is your favorite memory of Bill? When I was in his office once, he started speaking a language from Star Wars. Yeah, Rodian. Wow. Do you remember the first time you met Bill, Sarah Jane? Yes, I do remember. Okay, so this was um, freshman year, and I was doing a skit for the diversity play or whatever it was, and I was a fat security guard. And Miss Emily Langbean here was um, helping me get fat, and Bill comes by, and he... <laughs> He made a comment, and sadly, I don't think I remember the comment. My favorite memory of Bill? I don't have just one. I think it's just like hanging out in the office in the hallway and making fun of people and having good conversations. Bill, um, this is a very important statement, and uh, I hope you take it to heart because you're not very smart because we tricked you, and me and Sally never actually went out. I know it's hard to believe because you believed it for so long. <laughs> but we never went out, and we were just trying to get you back. For You're a sucker. <laughs> Colette and Meg, what do you guys think of Bill? Emily, it's your turn. Oh! Oh! Denied! I mean... <laughs> Ethan, what is the one thing you've always wanted to say to Bill? Give me bloody name right! Tell us about the first time you met Bill. I remember the first day I had drama class, I was like, Yes, I got rid of Mr. Cleland, and this new guy should be the coolest. And I was with my buddies like Derek and Matt, and, uh, and, like, we're, and we're like, yes, we're the drama guys. And Bill looked at us like, I will set you ablaze. And we knew it was going to be a long, long year. Daniel, do you have anything you want to say to Bill? No. And what was your favorite memory of Bill? I'd have to say, my favorite memory of Bill is when he says, when he reads the script and he finds that it says flaming arrows fly across stage. That's probably my favorite memory. <laughs> what is your most traumatic memory with Bill? Um, when he nearly beat the crap out of me in tech class. After I'd been beating the crap out of, you know, in PE. So. Commodore, will you say something nice to Bill and keep the obscenities out of it? <laughs> Something nice to Bill. Um, yeah, I've been looking. He's a nice, bald headed guy that tries to kick my but can't. Is there one thing you've always wanted to tell Bill? Yeah, I'm never doing another TikTok. <laughs> you can kiss that idea goodbye. So, Cynthia, tell us about the first time you met Bill. Well, he's kind of weird looking. But he thought I was weird looking. We thought each other was weird looking. And then he says, Whoa, your hair! And then you notice I was a new one, yeah. Opening night of the pajama game, and the only time I ever met him. And Bill decided to open up our relationship with, dude, you're mean. I don't like you. He just walked away. So, Daniel, what's the funniest thing that Bill's ever done? Well, last night when he was walking around the corner of um, um, where the stands are, he fell flat on his face. And my sister and my mom were cracking up really bad. Corey, can you talk about Bill for two straight minutes? Oh, I can say a lot about Bill for two straight minutes, but I'll be nice and brief. Um, first time I met Bill was Drama 1, freshman year, and uh, it was Bill and Janet, co-teaching. Yeah, I hated him from like the first time I ever met him, and I thought he hated me too. I still think that, personally, but it's okay. It's okay. Does anyone have anything nice to say about Bill? Oh, oh, oh. No. At least you still have some hair. So Melissa, what's it like being a freshman and having a lead in one of Bill's plays? Very spastic and very, very pressured, and sometimes I hate Bill, but sometimes I love him and I thank him and I want to do it again, but I hope he doesn't beat me, so we're all good. Tell us some good things about Bill. Well, he's a really great director and he's just a great guy all around, you know, he's a good family guy, I like that, you know. So yeah, <laughs> is it off? Yeah. Because I cannot stand him. <laughs> he's so annoying. Oh my Aaron, what do you think of Bill? Um, well, to be perfectly honest, uh, last year I was really scared of him and I was like, ooh, Bill! And he thought he was kind of gushy and mean. Um, but then I got a chance to work with him this year and it's really cool and he's actually a nice person. Bonnie, what would you like to thank Bill for? Well, there are really three things. One of them is getting Jordan and Sally together because they're so cute. It's adorable. 
Second thing is making all my friends think that I'm a racist bastard because I'm dressing like a stereotypical Indian. And the third thing is making me sound like the old lady on that commercial with a hole in her throat because she's been smoking for 40 years. Thanks, Bill. It's really great of you. Okay, Bill, I just want to clarify something. Jordan and I are going out. I don't care what he says. And now I gotta go because he's right there. It brings you up and it brings you down. So Reese, how's your first show with Bill been? Well, my first show with Bill is uh, it's times up and, and down. Up, down. I, I, I don't know. I've learned how to crochet. There's a beanie in the back room, and I am just damn proud of it. <laughs> this show, this first show, has been a lot of fun. I, it's been a lot of work, but not nearly as much as I expected in the beginning, but the end is all that I was expecting. And even though it has been a lot of work and everything, I still have to say that I've had a lot of fun with it. And I am looking forward to it being over so I can really shave my face again. Um, my theory in general about this show is that as the winter came and everything, it kind of got cold and my hair just I'm migrated. I won't go to bed, Nana. I won't go to bed. Why is it 6 o'clock? I love you for that. And I'll always remember you from my boss. Tell us about the first time you ever met Bill. Well, oh yeah. All I remember, I was in my drama class and I just remember thinking, damn, boy. Those pants are tight. And that's all. Because of Bill. Straight on till morning. So beautiful. I he's made me so beautiful that I had to poke out one of my eyes because I could only take fifty percent of this hot. Anna, what do you think of Bill? Bill convinced us that it's best for the show to knock out our teeth. Also, he helped me come out of the closet. More than once. What should you say to Bill? Falling, falling, okay. You know, it's just the other way around. You're dual outfit, come on. Well, so we have a couple things to say about Bill, and being a freshman, what you have to say about Bill is a newcomer. I kind of said my story. What did you say? That sometimes I hate him, and sometimes I love him, and that's kind of how it works. That's how I was that way, because when I was a freshman, I was like completely scared of him, and now he just looks at you, and I just laugh and laugh. And then he gets really mad and ticked off and yeah. Well, see, I have no such confidence. What do you think about your mother, Mrs. Darling? <laughs> She's very tall. What do you think about your brother, John Darling? He's weird. <laughs> what do you think about That's your sister, Wendy? She loves me. He loves me. She's I mean, a really good singer. Oh, I love what do you think? What do, you, <laughs> what do you think about your father, a.k.a. Captain <laughs> And what do you think of Bill? <laughs> Larry, what is your favorite memory of Bill? Well, I seem to recall this one time when he was very justly upset because someone stole his cookies, and the entire drama hall had to be shut down to prevent this horrible kind of crime spree. Okay, Megan, what's your favorite memory of Bill? Dark Spider-Man. Um, I, I don't have any good memories of Bill. Bill is still wearing pink underwear. Oh. <laughs> okay, I thought of something. There's this one time when I was a flying monkey in Oz. Pink underwear! Oh wait, I didn't fly. Bill is a lump of delight. Bill, I just want to say. You're the one who corrupted me with much ado about nothing. I never would have grabbed Emily's butt if it weren't for you. What is your favorite memory of Bill? My favorite memory? Um, probably because, probably during Wizard of Oz because uh, he was always so nice to the jitterbugs except for not really at the beginning because he kind of hated us because we did a really bad job and we really sucked. But then I liked it because he really gives us good praises and stuff now that we did a really good job and, and I just, I'm glad that he was here to make that a good show because if it was anybody else I don't think it would have been the same. Do you remember the first time that you met Bill? Of course I do. I walked into the theater with Colette and he yelled at me, didn't tell me to get out. So I cried. Is there anything you'd like to thank Bill for? I wonder where I put it. I'll try the voice that I have. 
and for all the things that he said were sitting to me. Uh, so you've been a really good, like, really good person. Thanks. Uh -huh. um, is there anything else you'd like to say to Bill? Yeah. Is this normal? Me and Sally <laughs> weren't really going out. I knew it! And they're not cousins either. Oh, oh he's such a Whoa. liar. They make out every day. So, I would like to thank Bill for getting me out of my job at Albertsons with dignity. I am so lucky and happy and thankful to be gone from that friendly place. Albertsons is run by Nazis. I speculate that Hitler went forward through time and started the Albertsons chain and then went back. And that's my theory. And killed the Jews. So thank you for getting me out of Albertsons. Wow. That was interesting. I yeah, I lost my job at Starbucks because of you. Um, what else happened because of you? I lost my voice. Several, several. No, actually, really good things happened because of you. Um, no, I am getting my job back <laughs> afterwards. But anyway, uh, yeah, I just, I guess, want to say hi, say thank you. Um, the first. Uh, well, I remember the first time I ever met you. It was. Uh, Drama one, first day when you were teaching with Janet. Yeah, that wasn't, must have been an interesting. Class. Wasn't that fun <laughs> for all of us? Janet, Ooh. not really. You did a great job <laughs> though. Um, but yeah, you not were really. interesting, and you made me throw my shoe on stage. Which oh, we throw our shoes. Right me. What's too. the dumbest thing Bill has ever done? Peeing his pants. <laughs> the dumbest thing Bill's ever done. That's a tough one. That's really wow. The dumbest thing. I'd say for me. The there's just really thing. there's like thing. there's like a thousand can I say like, ship that big. Oh god. No, uh, the dumbest thing. Jeez. Gee golly. Gosh, it's just like okay. I don't Whoa. know. Okay. Is casting Colette as anything was just <laughs> like. <laughs> no, no. No. You're banished. <laughs> <Here> you <go>. <laughs> <laughs> Lois is most definitely the most beautiful girl. Hey, Lois, is there anything? <laughs> Lois, is there anything you've always wanted to tell Bill but never gotten the chance to say? <laughs> no, I'm too tired to think of anything at this very moment. John, do you remember the first time you ever met Bill? My third period. Drama one. Uh huh. Yeah. And. So I just get extra time for my whole life. Okay. Let me think about it. <laughs> okay, is there anything you want to say to Bill? Uh, I'd like to share my words of wisdom. Remember, Bill, impotency is in the eye of the beholder. Nothing. Shave your beard. Why do you hate me? Bill, Amanda has a heartfelt message she would like to share with you. I know I'm loud, and I know I'm annoying. And I know you want to kill me sometimes, but you're like one of my favorite teachers, and I owe everything that I feel about drama to you. Thanks. Okay, my, my favorite Bill moment was the whole everyone throw your shoes on stage and pick a scene partner thing. <laughs> he threw this back at me! <laughs> hey, I remember when Bill told me he had a dream about me, and I was like, inside, I was like, I <laughs> I remember one time Bill said he had a dream about me, and in the inside I was like, whoa! <laughs> so this one time Bill came up to me and he said, Reese, I had a dream about you last night in the Swedish Alps in a skiing lodge, sitting on a rock that I distinctly remember from a previous play was a prop with Rachel. Now, the best part is, he doesn't realize that we just brain-like warped him. That oh. did happen, but, oh wait, we're taping. Crap. What's your favorite Bill quote? <laughs> okay, um, this was just actually a couple weeks ago. It's, you know, eating peppermint ice cream is a lot like taking a poop. Hurts when you're doing it, but feels so good afterwards. I will never forget the time yes. you walked up to me and said that Evan was out of the show, and I started crying, and everyone was playing, you know, playing with it and stuff, and I thought he was really out of the show, and then I thought that Wall and Evan were beating each other up and killing each other. I thought my life was ruined. Well, yeah, thanks. And then, like, the next day, he duct tapes me up, and uh, I can't do anything about it. So I'm sitting there with duct tape all over me, and yeah, payback, Bill. Payback. Oh, Bill has a very interesting style of directing. I remember in You Can't Take It With You, his first year here, his first play, um, he got really mad at the cast, like, because we weren't doing what he wanted, whatever. So he made us, as a cast, all go along the side of the stage and stand on our heads for five minutes. No joke. 
We had to stand on our heads for five minutes so he could calm down. Evan, I want the inside wait, story on Bill putting you in the harness. No, he's at Venice Beach in California. So there, there he was. Little rat Daniel picking on me. I was just defending myself. So of course, you know, I picked on him back just a little, but he deserved it. So then Bill comes giving his lip at me. So I went over there and I was like, Bill, go give him lip, you know? So, so then I started to, what? So I started fighting him. And then he gets the whole crew on me. So they jumped on top of me, held me down. My butt was hanging out of my pants by this time. And then they gave me a wedgie, and then they stuck that horrid thing on me. The harness. I don't know how anyone puts that on, but it did not fit, and it did not feel good, Bill. And I hate you. Tell us about the first time you met Bill. Okay, so the first time I met Bill, I was in eighth grade, and I was like, whoa, this is really big and cool and awesome. And Bill's over in the corner yelling at some tech crew during Wizard of Oz or something. And I go up to him, and I'm like, hey, Bill, my name's Sammy, and my dad's right behind me. And he's still yelling, not really paying attention, because he's like, who the hell are you? And so he turns around, and then he sees my dad, and then he's like, oh, oh, hi, I'm Bill. I, yeah, uh, director here. And I was just like, so can I help out with the Wizard of Oz? And he's like, um, talk to her. And then he just blew up at me after that. So it was it was pretty fun. He was he was interesting and was safe out. Hello, my name is Danielle Clanfield, and this is Bill's office. First, we'll take it over here. Huh? Of course, the great computer with, there's always an no. email up. Oh, Bill's a mermaid. <laughs> lovely, lovely. Did these Willie, are good there's a camera. Willie. The first time I was in here, I thought that these were all Bill. Then I realized, Bill had boobs! So Stephanie, you tell us about the first time you met Bill. Well, I was in drama 2 class, and I was wearing a shirt that had an S on it. Uh, Stephanie, Stephanie. And, and I never met him before and he goes, so what does that S stand for, stupid? And I go, no, it stands for Stephanie. He goes, well, you look more stupid than Stephanie, more stupid than Stephanie or something like that. And I was like, Bill, I really hate you. Then I started to like you. And Okay, it goes like this. Like this. Like this. Colette and I, we were just discussing about how walls pretty much like Colette's other boyfriend, mm -hmm. and so I pretended to get really jealous over over him, this guy here. Or me. Yeah, this guy. And so we, we yeah, decided... Finger? No, thanks. <laughs> so we decided to make a plan. Plan. And, and our plan was this. We are going to pretend to fight over Colette, and then Bill had no idea. Yeah, he had no idea. No idea. So we started to fight after practice one day, and I slammed this kid. I slammed him. Yeah. Yeah, and I stormed out. Bill freaked out. He didn't know what was going on. He thought it was an actual fight. Because Bill's an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so you want to take it from here? Okay. <laughs> anyway, so we walk out, and Bill's sitting there. He's like, "What the hell is going on?" And then me and Evan look at each other. And we're like, "Nothing." <laughs> <laughs> we just start cracking up, and that's when Bill realized what was going on. You see. And then, so, so, Bill walks in, well, first he said, Evan, stay out here. Evan's so then he walks into the house, into the house. Where I'm sitting there talking to Colette. Yeah. And, and I don't know what you guys I, I, I was just walking back and forth, and I was like, what the hell am I going to do? And then Bill walks in, you see, and he walks up to us and he's like, is everything okay? And Colette's like, yeah, we, we got it figured out. And so this is a little good, because Evan's out of the show. Ah! ah! <laughs> and then she started crying. She started crying. And then Bill was like, oh, well, I'm a stupid <laughs> for making his lead character cry. So then he had to tell her, <laughs> tell her that it was just a mistake and that we were all just kidding around. Yeah. yeah. You never got us back. Oh, you're talking about Colette? Would you stop touching like. my boob? Hey. Okay, so, well, everybody, like, does it, you know, like, you are poor and you don't have food or whatever. And Bill's in the same boat. And so he'll have, but we always have coffee on hand. And so he'll have no food and then he'll have coffee. So it starts out like he's really tired and crap, and he'll sit there talking to you, and then it'll kick in, and so it escalates to this, and then soon by the end of the period he's up and he's like talking to you, and you're like, oh god, don't, don't, Bill, sit down. That's always good times to be had. We're on a secret mission for Bill. Emily, you look like a little camera crazy. Go! 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 Go!
So this is a tape for Bill Johnson, right? For Bill Johnson, the director of this play. This is ridiculous. What are you thinking? You have a 50-foot boat on there. 50 feet. Why? Why do you need that? I thought you learned your lesson with Wizard of Oz. No, you didn't. I don't believe it. But no, you go up there. Go, go to that. Go to that. What is that set? What is that set? That's absurd. It's so good, it's absurd. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Anyway, so that's the most ridiculous thing Bill's ever done. <laughs> has Bill done anything good? Let me think. No! Oh, yes, he has. No. Bill taught me everything I know about theater and more. Hi, Bill. I just want to say thank you for letting me in all your, uh, all your plays, but Wizard of Oz and now Peter Pan. Has had, I've had lots of fun. And yeah, thanks. I love Bill because... I love Bill because... That's great, and back to you now, Bob. I can't think of anything. Shut up! Oh. You're done. Tards and and we had an offend, but I was strangely without offend, but I'm not bitter. So um, yesterday I heard that you know we were leaning over like this and we're going and we're going and uh, I was like, so Candy, how are the leotards going? And she's like, oh, they're going really good. And I was like, and uh, how's the um upper region? And she's like, oh, the cleavage? Oh, it's out there. It's good. Bill, you have made me responsible for bringing 20 boys into puberty just yesterday. <laughs> My chest. Oh, cool. Don't you feel sexy? If you could have one word to describe Bill, what would that word be? Inspirational. <laughs> Sadistic. Sadistic. If you could use one word to describe Bill, what word would you use? I would use the word sandwich. Because much like a sandwich, you have to learn you can't judge a sandwich by its fixings. Describe Bill, what would it be? Hypocrite. Duh. Danielle, if you could use one word to describe Bill, what word would that be? Ostrich. Papaya. What would you describe him as? A rabbit with a yellow hat. Far away to Neverland. Girl, you're right. Too clever to fall. Awesome. Currently, I have two words. Yeah. Okay, bald and old. Bald. Bald. Good night, chocolate. And then. Meaty. Cheese. Arrogant. Quixotic. Pink onions. Beaver boy. Stressful. Danger. Whoa. Multifaceted. Driven. Mm. I'd have to say horrifying, especially when he chooses to do shows like this, and then he swears to never do another show like this, and then two years later he's back doing another show like this. Bill, I'd like to thank you. I have been called Jordan more times than I've ever, ever thought I would be. Thank you. Okay, aside from all the th sad things I said, mean things that I said, and calling you a watermelon or whatever I said, I actually really wanted to thank you for giving me an opportunity to show her what I like, think I have and what I hope to do and giving me a chance, really. Thanks! Bill, he's one of those people you don't know if you want to strangle or give him a big hug. I'm still confused. Indian! Run. Danger! Bill, I have two words for you. You're an old man! Kite farts. Okay, so Amanda, do an impression of Bill for me. This is his impression of me. I suck on pig's feet. Hate it when you do that. Okay, so my favorite memory of Bill is when he was spitting all those gross chocolate gummy bears, not gummy bears, those Teddy Graham things with me. And then he did the machine gun thing, and I took off running, and I came with the biggest bruise ever. Ha! Okay, so Daniel, what's the one thing you've always noticed about Bill? He wears the same clothes every day. No, I don't feel like I'm 40 anymore. However, I think I have an eye infection now, and my lips are severely chapped. Also, my nose is running, and I can barely talk still. So, thanks a lot. I'm still here, and I'm still fighting, and I don't like it anymore. Alright, Bill, um, Megan and I have something to confess to you. Um, 
One time during lunch when you went to the bank, um, we kind of put um, um, Pepto Bismo in your coffee. No, no, I'm um, Bill, you'll never guess what I just found in my backpack. I found your ID card in my backpack that I stole from you in the beginning of the year. I never gave it back. <laughs> and it's your, it's your, not your ID card, but it's your um, Hillsborough, your, your teacher ID card. Yeah. Come again, it's the guy. I just realized that Bill is blacker than I am. So that's my confession. Sorry. Is that Bill? Yeah. 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 when I first met you, I thought you hated me, and it's amazing how I still think you hate me. Yeah. Hello, Bill. It's Ben. You probably know who I am. No me Sparky. Could be. Not quite sure. Uh, I was told you were doing a videotape about uh, funny memories of you and such, and uh, a time came to mind when I had a board duct taped to my back. Not so much fun. Not so much a funny memory. Two, three. Bill, you suck! <laughs> Bill, um, if there's one thing I must say, I must say thank you and I hate you at the same time because you made me grow all this facial hair and shave my head and that's really gross for a month and a half. And on the second hand, um, I must say thank you because now Rachel here will have a completely new appreciation for how attractive I really am when I'm not as hairy and not hairy. So, thank you. This is my leg. I did it for you, Bill. I did it for you, mother. Bill, let me fly. Please. You have no idea how much I want to fly. And I'll take out the set, too. Bill, let me wear pants just for one night. <laughs> <laughs> one night. That's all I ask. I'm never Bill, thanks for uh, letting me be critiqued. Uh, and I'll never forgive you for not putting my name on the program. That was terrible of you. Terrible. Yeah, just uh, wanted to add to Reese's thanks for the whole facial hair thing and the long hair. Yeah, no. But I can forgive you for that. No, it's okay. I'll just take some therapy. It's okay. See, the thing about Nate is the fact that Alexa doesn't have anything to appreciate after he gets the beard off. He's still just as unattractive. Um, so I just wanted to thank you for all the great rumors you started about me, like that I was a whore and that I flashed everyone and then you made it all the freshmen think that I would like, you know, do anything for him for like a nickel. And then you told them I rolled all over my chest. What else has he told you? Oh, all kinds of things. What? Oh, he, yeah, you tell people about wrestling cows. So, Bill. I decided that maybe I should start living up to my reputation. Here we go. We're seldom insert a discouraging word. And the sky's been not cloudy all day. Yeehaw! He Okay, right now we are having our trucking final. All right, we, we have Dan, we have John, we have Vince, and they are going to drink two of these and put them on their plate. And Kyle is judging. Okay, here we go. Wait, 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 wait. Start your engines. Come on, Kyle. Come on, Kyle. On the of the table. John, three, two, one. Go, 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 in a door, okay? So this is to everyone. Everyone's gonna hear this story. <laughs> okay, but he's probably gonna kill me for this, so I don't need any more recommendations from you. Okay, so, we're sitting there, and uh, Montague is beating against our wall to the room. He's like, boom, boom, and we're like, it's like two o'clock in the morning, we have to be up at eight. We're like, what the f 
Okay. <laughs> so we're live. Fucking stop it! We're pounding against the wall. It's me, Neil, and Bill, mind you. And Neil and Bill are very, very buff and strong. And then there's me. So anyway, <laughs> so we're sitting there, we're beating against Montague's wall. <laughs> And uh, so, oh, but he keeps the water, he keeps the water. So Bill's like, Bill's like, well, I have this really good thing. This is what I did to people when they were uh, when they were being in my dorm room. So he goes and he takes some shaving cream and he has Neil continue pounding on the wall. So Monty stays there. So he takes some shaving cream and puts it around the doorknob, right? And that was the diversion. But then he took a garbage can and he empties it out and he fills it with water and props it just so against Montague's door. And he knocks and he runs away. Now we didn't know. Did you open the door? No, we didn't. We're too smart. Sorry. Okay, they didn't open the door. But we thought we heard the door open at about 3 o'clock in the morning and we just started laughing hysterically. And so we go out and the garbage can is gone. We don't know what the hell happened. Turns out that a faculty member hosting the, hosting the event found it and pulled it away from the door. We left the next day. So, anyway, that's what I learned from Bill Johnson on And then he denied it for like the next three weeks. I did. Like, can't even, like, told it was him, and then he just kept on denying it. He was like, acting all serious. He was like, you gotta came out of the hallway, so you're gonna get in trouble. You think I'm kidding? Uh, uh. <laughs> that is kind of what Bill does. Too bad he sucks at acting. Oh! <laughs> So Alexa, I was watching that Peter McPeter Pan, uh -huh. and it was McShite. McShite. You right? because, because there was the Indians dancing around, and they were like, woo! <laughs> and they were all like singing the song, Catch a Fallen Star. Put it in your pocket! He doesn't know that much. Oh, he doesn't. And then X was came on the <laughs> stage, and he was I a whole. Yeah, uh, it was. Yeah, this is a failed cause, turned off. <laughs> Kyle, if you had one word to describe Bill, what would it be? <laughs> I have two. Yeah, yeah, let's, we have to keep, yeah, the F words to a minimum. Oh, do I have to? So I can't be like... No, no, you got one. No, no. <laughs> Edit! Uh, okay, well, there's the thing that everybody's expecting me to say about Bill, which is bitch, or something of that nature. Um... But the one word I would use to describe Bill is inspirational. Already been taken. <laughs> <laughs> minimum, Kyle. Minimum. How about yeah? <laughs> no. Oh. Oh. Who's got a thesaurus? <laughs> Daniel. How about? No, guys, we got a nine-year-old who's gonna see this. Oh, that's important. <laughs> Come on, Kyle. We don't want to know. Kyle, one word. One word. 